This is a Jana Duggar update for 2023 because we all want to know, is Jana still living at home? Is she courting? Here's what we know about one of the most well-liked Duggars. And sorry if I sound sick because I am. Jana Duggar is the second oldest Duggar child. She's John David's twin. She's 33 now and most of her siblings got married super young and have a bunch of kids by now. I'm sure many guys actually tried to court her, but she remains very single to this day and everyone keeps asking why, which is actually pretty relatable. In 2020, Jenna actually addressed the whole thing in an interview for Counting On when it was still airing. She had said, I feel like these days, probably one of the most common questions is, am I in a relationship? Sometimes it gets a little old. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I don't have anyone. And usually I'm just like, okay, I'll just answer it and go on and that's it. Sometimes it can get a little like, what? That's not the only thing in the world to talk about. True. So recently, Ginger Duggar, Jenna's little sister, spilled a lot in interviews for her new book where she's, you know, disentangling her religious beliefs. And some fans think that she may have accidentally revealed why Jenna still lives so close to home and maybe why she's still single even since everyone is super curious. So about women living at home in their religion, Ginger said, if you get a job or move out, you're opening yourself up to Satan's attacks because you don't have an umbrella to protect you. So that's what I believed wholeheartedly and that's why I stayed. So that's interesting and what a double standard considering that the Duggar sons are free to get a job, move out and do whatever kind of they want. Word on the street, based on what a source told without a crystal ball, um, Jenna may be living in a tiny house but still very close to the big Duggar compound and uh, as far as we know she doesn't have like an official job outside the home but she does a lot still. So she's still on the land or she may still be on the land in her little space, which is a start, but hopefully they don't make Jana babysit like a thousand kids and cook for everyone all the time, you know? So Ginger also talked about how in their religion, there are these single service commitments. So I have to say, I did not know this was a thing. It's a commitment to not get married for 10 years and focus on the Lord without distraction. Kind of sounds similar to being a nun, but short term, I guess, like a short term nun type of thing. Anyways, these people vow to be celibate, basically. Ginger said they would push these single service commitments to God and you would have these 20 year olds making these commitments for 10 years. You would have young kids, older people making it for 10 years. I'm like, what are we doing here? True, like your 20s and 30s are key years to meet someone, start a family if you want to. So the single service commitment could really get in the way of all that, honestly. Ginger also said that she knew people who made these vows and some fans then started wondering and speculating if it's possible that Jana took a vow like this. Because truly, if she wanted to be with someone, she could. Jana is super pretty, she's very talented, a guy would be lucky to be with her and so I'm sure a lot of guys like basically want to court her. So that's why people are confused and they start thinking of all these weird reasons. So yes, people are wondering if maybe Jana took a single service commitment. What we do know is that Jana fell off social media in 2022. Maybe she decided she just didn't want to be like that public anymore, but she does make appearances in her siblings YouTube videos all the time. We know that Jana has been traveling quite a bit lately, mostly with her brothers and family. She's been leaving Arkansas a lot. She recently went to Europe in Italy and Israel with her family. And yes, her best friend Laura came along with her 
as kind of her travel buddy. They went to Rome. They visited so many sites together and restaurants. A few things about Jana's BFF, Laura. She's very religious. She's a creative director. She even helped plan Joy and Joseph's weddings. And she's been best friends with Jana for years. Because they're both unmarried and in their 30s, some people sometimes insinuate that they may be more than friends, but Jenna has said herself that this is not true, and we all have to respect that. I mean, girls have friends, you know? So she also went on a Winnebago trip with Jen and Katie and more family members to attend um, like three weddings across the country. And recently, Jenna has been spending time with her sisters. They even took this picture with all the Duggar girls there. Ginger was in town staying at Joy's house. Joy said that Jenna was so trendy because she likes matcha lattes apparently, which actually is pretty trendy. Matcha lattes are super trendy. Jenna says that she's trying them everywhere. And Jenna was actually one of the last family members to leave the party at Joy's. She stayed extra, probably to spend time with Ginger, I imagine, before she leaves. Gotta get all that family time in. And of course, at Joy's, she also made like kale salad at the party, which is super healthy and a super Jenna thing to do, to like, you know, help and do all these things. So all the best for Jana. She is one of my favorite Duggars and whatever makes her happy, whether that's getting married or not, I mean, she already has a big family and lots of nieces and nephews, but um, either way, I hope that Jana likes the little house that people say she has. And like, how big do we think that house is even? I mean, if it is the place that was kind of caught in an Instagram story by one of her brothers, I mean, it's a little te- like, how small are we talking here? Is it like one room? I feel like we need to see this more in depth, you know? And like, how often do you guys think that she goes to the big house? Is she there every day? Can she not go for like a week? And it's kind of interesting how many Duggars now are well, I guess this is alleged, but live like on that land in different, you know, little buildings. It's like they all live communally, let's say. And so I think that's very interesting. Either way, I hope you enjoyed my Jana 2023 update all about, you know, kind of speculations, fan thoughts, and a little bit of where Jana is in her life now. Alright guys, have a great night and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!